And welcome to round three. Uh, we are in third place right now. And uh, already in the packs, we're trying to get more packs at this point. Um, this is certainly a fine hand. I mean, it's not great, but... Uh, don't want to lead off with Terra Morka Fickix fans here, even though it's tempting. That would lead to a turn two Blight Agent, but I think it's more important to brainstorm. We can probably find an untapped land... Well, hold on. Do I really want to just play a turn two Blight Agent? Just brainstorming without being able to shuffle seems miserable. Hmm, I guess I get to wait and see what I draw. Maybe I'll draw an untapped land. Another brainstorm? Yeah, I got to shuffle with this brainstorm. It's like... Completely necessary. And I'm just going to go ahead and brainstorm. Invigorate and lands. Okay, so I definitely don't want the second island, but I do want the forest. So I think I go... Yeah, island forest. And then I will play Terramorphic Expanse, crack it, and then play another Brainstorm. Interesting, yeah, it's another Storm deck. Go ahead and get a Forest. And Brainstorm. Hmm. I could have maybe just won this game. Yeah, well, no reason not to just put both lands on top. Yeah, especially since now I'm going to lose the storm when I easily could have just won well the good news is if he doesn't kill me I think I have it he has to win this turn or he loses but the bad news is I'm pretty sure I didn't need to slow myself down by that much Looks like he's going off. This is not good. Yeah, that's not good. Ooh, I should have countered that. What am I thinking? I oh, know this is you control, right? Okay. Yeah, I think I could have won this if I had just played Blighted Agent last turn. It just seemed so miserable to not shuffle. Hmm, yeah, I'm pretty screwed here. Uh oh, he put three on top. That seems very bad for me. Okay. Better go off this turn, buddy. Mm, well, I can counter one. I think I still win this, actually. Storm. I think I F2 once, right? Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I win this game, actually. Despite the temporal fissure because of Apostle's Blessing. So, give him protection from blue. And F6. Pretty sure I win this. And that's why this is a one of, in case you were wondering. <laughs> it has its uses. I have won a few games in a similar fashion. It's pretty awesome that I'm going to win this game, by the way. I'm loving it. Um, so, 4, 8, 9, Giant Growth. Yep. I think I'd rather show him Giant Growth than Ranker, even though he knows I have both. Well... No, I'll just show him Ranker. He knows I have Ranker already. Does he? Yeah, he's got to. Everybody does. He may not know I have Giant Growth. Temporal fissure, huh? Okay, so... Certainly interv eh, intervenes no good. I really need more Apostles' Blessings. These intervenes should just be Apostles' Blessings. They're, they're, <laughs> they're there to counter opposing... Um, opposing, like, creature decks and stuff. But I, now I have Serrated Arrows... Yeah, if these were both Apostles' Blessing and I could bring in Apostles' Blessing, this would be a very different game. As it stands, I think I'm kind of in trouble here. I mean, Intervene can work once on one creature, but I don't think it's worth bringing in. Serrated Arrows can kill the Familiars, but it's probably too slow. I'll bring in one? No. I need to win this game with speed. <coughs> well, this looks usable. If I get any, like, pump spell, I get to win. I'm pretty sure he can't cheese me out before I go off with this end. Let's see, brainstorm. Yeah, well, that doesn't change much. No shuffle effect, unfortunately. Not sure I'm actually going to win with this. I'm probably going to be one turn too slow if I had to guess. Because I'm not going to win on this turn. Excuse me. Brought in Snuff Out, huh? That's a pretty good sideboard card. I'm probably pretty screwed here, if I had to guess. Um, I mean, Sisbear is actually lethal, so I think you gotta play it. Now I kind of wish I had Serrated Arrows. That would be kind of an awesome play right here. 
Oh, I forgot these guys are 03s. Never mind. I thought it just wiped his, all his guys. Well, now at least he has to block. Though he doesn't know that. He could have some... Yeah, that's unfortunate, to say the least. Probably should have done that pre-combat and gotten in with his Sunscape Familiar. Deep Analysis. The original Think Twice. Wow, it's so good against me. It's, it's insane how good that card is against me. Oh yeah, I'm screwed. Well, luckily, I can play two guys this turn instead of one. If he can't go off right now, though, his deck is terrible. <laughs> He's gotten to draw, like, <laughs> every single card. He's got all the cards. He actually has all of them. Um... Okay, Cloud of Fairies, that's a start. If he doesn't go off this turn, though, it's very likely that I win with the combination of Brainstorm and the Double Invigorate. Although, as I was saying, <laughs> my confidence is not very high right now. So yeah, this deck was not actually that popular. Kind of surprised. No, oh, it's... He's actually not really going off here. I th think I may have this. Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't have an answer, that's enough. I think I just go for it. And do I win? No whammies. Whammies? Any whammies? Mmm, yep, those are some whammies. Unfortunate. I mean, maybe, maybe that's not the way you do it, I don't know. Probably should have brainstormed pre-combat, though, for the ranker. Okay. There's, like, actual no way that I'm not dead here. This is an interesting game, at least. He doesn't have actually a lot of cards to go off with, though. He just has a bunch of dorks. It's interesting. I've never seen this deck fizzle like this before. I guess he put brought in too many snaps and snuffs. Although I think snap is part of the combo with the... Uh, what have yous. 
can like cast free cloud of fairies and wool drifters yeah I'm still pretty dead here Not having gotten in some damage is like a, actually a big deal too. Pretty sure I should have brainstormed pre-combat there and just hooked up Ranker to the Iker Claw Mirror. And then if he plays Snap in response, I probably could have got in there. I play Ranker, he snaps. In response, I Bone Splitter. Or not in, in response, but like... After that, I bone splitter and then double invigorate for the win. Hmm. The real question is just like, would he have pulled the trigger? He doesn't have the storm spell. Interesting. Clearly, I do that and that and that. I mean, either way, I like either that or I would have gotten some. I don't know. I'm I'm probably just dead to like damage here. Would be my guess. That's assuming he doesn't combo off. I mean, he's yeah. This is this game's over. You're you know you're losing when. Uh yeah, this is. It's close though. I feel like I misplayed the crucial turn. Yeah, he's gonna bounce all my permanents right now. Otherwise, he would have just snapped Blight Agent. So yeah, I think, I think, as usual, you just need to brainstorm. Ooh, he's got standard bears. Yeah, okay, I definitely need to bring in... If he's got standard bears, I need to actually bring in all four. <coughs> <coughs> all four uh, straight arrows. That's just going to slow me down so much. Yep. I can't come back from this. Not with Standard Bear in play. Okay. Um, I'm going to take out... Let's see. He can snap in response to Ranker. I mean, just in general, like I feel like I can side out the Giant Growth Package for the Serrated Arrows. That seems reasonable. Although, really, these Iker Claw Mirror are not that useful. Actually, the Glistener Elves are really not that useful. He's just got a bunch of dudes. Yeah, I'm going to take out the Glistener Elves and leave in the Giant Growths, actually. It's possible I should have Intervenes for his snaps. I'm going to try that. This might be a little too heavy on the response, but, well, this is workable. Mulligan is six. Mulligans are really, really bad for the Storm decks. They rely on having, like, a crucial, like, critical mass of cards so, so much. Oh, if I could only untap with Vines up, I would feel so much better. I think I've got this. If he doesn't snuff me out here. Snap. Okay. Yeah. 
I just replay this? Sure. And here's where he basically has to start blocking or die. Hmm. Yeah, he's going to block. If he doesn't block, he could easily die, so he has to be careful. And I don't have any tramples, so I think this is probably the best play here. I think I got him. His draw is very slow. He doesn't have any familiars out. He can't really get anything going without that. Although he hit a deep analysis. Wouldn't exactly call that hitting, I guess. Ooh, yeah, that's bad for him. In the sense that he is actually dead, I think. Six. Yep. Sorry, buddy. Got you this time. Bone splitter. When four rankers just isn't enough. Okay, well, got my way through a couple storm decks. I mean, this deck is very fast and fairly resilient, although, eh, I guess I wouldn't say fairly resilient. It can be resilient, especially with the sideboard. I think the sideboard makes it resilient. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I had the, uh, the serrated arrow tech for the standard bearer. Standard bearer basically blanks all of your cards. <laughs> it stops you from targeting your own creatures with, like, pump effects, which is the entire deck. So, yeah, there you go. On to the finals, I guess, sort of.